What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is Rustbeard, and I just wanted to make a video going over the 10.2.6 post that was made by Holly Longdale. I know I just recently made a video that I posted yesterday or the day before talking about some of the more specific comments within the post, but I realized after the fact that I didn't really do the post as much justice as it could have been given. And I wanted to kind of go over it a little bit more with a fine tooth comb in this video instead, just to kind of discuss my thoughts and understandings of what this could mean. Now, of course, don't get me wrong, I still believe pretty firmly in what I said in my most recent video, talking about the possibility of a invasion kind of thing, but a little bit less so now that I've read through this a little bit more carefully. And I'm not entirely certain that I believe the Booty Bay revamp as much as I did before, but I still would very much like that to happen, of course. And you know what? With this post, it's really not out of the realm of possibilities. Really, this video is more so just to kind of go over some of the stuff that I didn't talk about in my most recent video, but I don't know, kind of give cadence to some of the fact that it is definitely something that we haven't seen before, and I'm pretty excited about it. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to go ahead and skip over the first bit of this because it's just kind of more sentiment, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and get into the 10.2.6 discussion right off the bat. As many have noticed, this is the first period of time since Dragonflight launched that we haven't had an active PTR, and we understand that is creating some curiosity. For the 10.2.6 patch for Dragonflight, we created what we think is a unique event inspired by past musings from the community. So right off the bat, this is what I kind of talked about the most on my last video, referring to the past musings of the community and what that could possibly mean and why they worded it the way they did. But that pretty much still stands. This could be anything that the community has talked about in the past. It could be anything referring to something that the community has wanted or desired or ended up getting but didn't really get a good enough version of it or whatever the case may be. And that still stands. I still think that that's very possible. Now I've seen a lot of people talk about how this is going to be some kind of thing that's crossed over with Dragonflight and Classic because of the next line where they say, we can say that it is open to anyone with a WoW subscription if they want to participate, Classic or Dragonflight players. That's all we're going to say. Sorry, not sorry. Our goal is to continue to keep it secret and keep it safe. So where people are getting confused, I think, is where it says Classic or Dragonflight players. However, this is a patch for Dragonflight. This is not a Classic patch, I don't think. It is, very, it is worded very odd, and I don't know why they I don't know why Holly worded it the way that she did here, but she did say, for the 10.2.6 patch for Dragonflight, we created what we think is a unique event inspired by past musings from the community. Now, it's an event. We can cross that off. It's more. It's going to be an event. It's going to be probably a one and done thing, more of an experiment than anything, but it's not going to be something so big that we can't really wrap our, our minds around it. But it is for Dragonflight. This is not going to be incorporated into Classic, I don't think. What they're saying is, if you have a subscription and you just play Classic, you're still able to jump into Dragonflight and play this. It's kind of a weird way to say what we already know, and that is, there is one subscription for both games. You don't have to pay a separate subscription to play Classic or Dragonflight. So, this is just saying okay classic players that really only play classic if you did want to check it out you still will have to come over to dragonflight but you're still able to try it if you want to you don't have to have a max level character or whatever that's what i'm assuming this is meaning it's not so much this is going to cross over with classic now if it does i'd be thoroughly surprised the classic game even with season of discovery is still such a different game that i don't think they're going to be able to incorporate something that will work for both unless it's something lore wise so i mean maybe but an event centered around lore that could tie into classic and dragonflight i don't know i think it's pretty unlikely this is definitely a dragonflight thing it is not going to be in classic it's just saying that if you have a subscription for dragonflight or classic whatever your mode of play is, you're able to participate in this event. So 
there's that. Now, of course, the our goal is to continue to keep it secret, keep it safe. Love the Lord of the Rings reference, of course. World of Warcraft is littered with them. I will pop up on screen now what my favorite one is. Of course, the three trolls that are in Spires of Iraq, where if you kill them, I mean, they're all named after the ones from The Hobbit. And uh, if you loot the chest, you get 12 dwarf beard rings and a burglar's vest um that's always fun but if you want to see more lord of the rings references in world of warcraft i will put this person's video up right here uh, she did an awesome job of kind of highlighting some of the really cool lord of the rings references now is this going to be alluding to what the 10.2.6 patch is i doubt it i think this was just holly making a uh, tongue-in-cheek reference to Lord of the Rings. I don't think that it's a reveal of any kind. I don't think this is going to be Lord of the Rings related. If it is, that's awesome. Maybe it's a legendary quest line that gets us a really cool ring. I don't know, but still, it, it's just a, it's just cool to see that they, they have fun with these kinds of posts, and uh, I love to see it. The speculation is great. We watched the reaction to the surprises in Season of Discovery and thought we'd try a similar but different approach for Dragonflight. Now, this is Another thing that's adding to my whole thing about the whole classic versus Dragonflight thing, whether it's going to be crossing over into Dragonflight or not, uh, she l quite literally explicitly says, we thought we'd try a similar but different approach for Dragonflight. So I don't think this is going to be crossing over into classic. Sorry, guys. If you have a subscription and you only play classic, but you're curious about the event, you can still jump over into Dragonflight. Regardless of where you are within the, the game, you don't have to have a max level character or a certain item level or a certain achievement to do this event, is what I'm getting from this. Now, of course, this is all speculation because as it discusses later on, we will not have a PTR uh, for this portion of the next update as we have traditionally done. We can say that it will be coming in March, a finer point, but the update will also include everything that's needed for Dragonflight Season 4, but will be hidden. around or after the launch of the update, we will make Season 4 available for testing on a 10.2.6 PTR before it goes live. So, again, just talking, it is it is going to be for Dragonflight, it is going to be an event, and there's a, a little Lord of the Rings reference. That's pretty much all we got from this post, uh, at least in this paragraph, or these paragraphs. I... It's hard to dis it's hard to decipher what this could be because they are being very mum about it. They're not really saying a whole lot of anything. However, the reason why we still have a little bit more to go off of is the pirate flag. The Jolly Roger that has popped up on the roadmap is telling. I mean, it's an event. It is more than likely, in my opinion, going to be pirate themed or centered around pirates or maybe exploration or plunder of some kind, maybe a uh an event involving some kind of s seafaring exploration. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see. That still leaves open the idea of Booty Bay getting a revamp, which I know. <laughs> I know we can hope, we can dream, and uh, we can we can hope and dream in one hand and shit in the other and see which one happens first. I know. Let me have my fun, all right? I think that it would be fun to have uh, something like that. It's, again... It's a classic area. It's something that's really cool and really valued by the community. I think that a revamp of Booty Bay would be a very, very fun thing. I know that there's never been any discussion about it. Uh, well, not never. Of course, there's probably been discussion about it. As there has been discussion about the whole entire map getting revamped, of course. But that would be fun. Now, customizable ships, of course, I was, I was talking about a little bit in my previous video. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's happening, but... Again, I can hope, I can dream. I think that would be super cool and uh, definitely would get people into playing World of Warcraft again. I know that for sure. I would love to have a customizable ship. I was going to make a video or a couple of videos on all the pirate organizations in World of Warcraft and upon further inspection, there are a lot of them. I knew there was a lot of them, but I didn't realize there were so many. Okay, I knew there was a lot, but there was more than I had anticipated. So I'm not entirely certain I'm gonna be doing that. If I do, I will probably do it in spurts, I'll probably do a series of it instead of just one video with all of them because that would be a super long video, and uh, I don't want to edit a video that long, so if you're interested in something like that or a series or, or anything discussing the pirate organizations within World of Warcraft, let me know it in the comments below. And uh, yeah, if, if it's something that you guys would be interested in, I will absolutely make a series for sure. I like talking about pirates, as you can probably tell by the, the aesthetic of this channel. 
who knows? Who knows what that could be? Who knows why we have the the Jolly Roger to begin with? Who knows why we have the pirate undertones to this whole thing? And the discussion has just been crazy. And the fact that it's also being inspired by past musings from the community, I mean, that could be a lot of things, you know? Even if it's like vaguely pirate related, like island expeditions, for example, if those got a revamp and were made more relevant, that could be pirate themed, you know? Like, you, you don't really know for sure. And it's, it's really hard to kind of pinpoint anything. Alas, here we are. Next paragraph, why are we doing this? We like the idea of releasing content that has some surprises and isn't data mined or revealed in advance. We also like to see the joy the community gets out of uncovering it all together as they all jump into play. We look forward to seeing if the community likes this type of surprise and look forward to hearing your feedback. This is a risky experiment and could be a bit bumpy, though we are doing everything we can to ensure success. Yes, we like this. I don't like the PTR when it comes to story-driven things or surprises or anything like that, because obviously data mining and people having it all over the internet before it happens kind of takes the fun out of discovering it for everybody else. And yeah, you can choose not to look at that kind of stuff, but you know, that's easier said than done these days when you have... Uh, YouTube thumbnails that are intentionally supposed to be clickbait. I do it all the time. I, I know. I mean, it's just it's just how you get people to click on your videos. You can't really fault them for that, so, and and it's going to happen regardless whether you can or not. So it, it's cool to see that they're going to be taking an approach that limits the amount of access that we have to it until the day comes. And I'm glad that they're doing that. I'm hoping that they do this more often. I'm really hoping this is a success, even if it isn't as cool as we're hoping it is, as cool as it, we're anticipating it is. I know the reclamation of Gildneus was kind of a letdown, but I'm really hoping that this is kind of an incentive for them to start doing less PTR on stuff that, you know, isn't boss mechanics or whatever, that, you know, you have to ha kind of have down. You know what I mean? Story elements or mechanics that are incorporated in like a mythic level raid or whatever for a final boss, sure. Or stuff that includes cinematics, sure. I mean, don't put that into a PTR, but for like the regular boss mechanics for a raid or a dungeon or whatever that doesn't include any story driven stuff, yeah, sure, PTR it up. Other than that, no, I'm not a big fan of the PTR and I, I don't really like how it's taken the excitement and discovery out of the game. Another thing that could be talked about is the Season of Discovery reference uh, and how they thought they'd try something similar but different. And that could be a number of things as well. It could just be the, the amount of PTR that they're doing. That could be what they're referring to. They could be like, well, we don't have a PTR for Season of Discovery and people like it, so we're just not gonna do it for this patch. And that's literally what's happening. So maybe they just told us the answer to that part of this riddle right there. That's more than likely what it is. But again, is there anything in Season of Discovery that could be incorporated into Retail WoW that they could be alluding to here? I don't know. There's a lot to unpack here and uh, it's probably going to continue to get unpacked until March, <laughs> until we get the actual update. And that's pretty cool. I think that it will be exciting to see what it is regardless of of what it is and uh yeah so before i go i did want to talk about one more thing and that is this this kind of s section of tweets that has been on twitter for a couple of weeks now so there was a tweet by muffinus that was a pirate flag now of course this is referring to more than likely the jolly roger pirate flag in the roadmap now the reason that's more exciting than it actually sounds is the fact that Holly Longdale posted a chicken emoji right underneath it. Now, that's also very odd and kind of weird. I mean, I don't really know what that means. I don't know what that could be alluding to, but right underneath it is a chicken drumstick emoji posted by Muffinus in response to this chicken. Now, you might be wondering, Rustbeard, what are you even, what are you on about right now? What are you even thinking? What could possibly be any more information than this post gives that could be referring to pirates and chicken? Well, I'll tell you. The, again, this is, this, just put on your tinfoil hats with me for a little bit and make of this what you will. But there are several pirates in World of Warcraft that are either holding 
or sitting right in front of chicken drumsticks within the game. So of course there's the probably more recent one, Harlan Sweet. He's sitting at a table right on his plate is a chicken drumstick. The next one I have is Fleet Admiral Tethys, who also right on his dinner table that he's sitting at uh, with all the other people in the Rogues Guild is a chicken drumstick. The one that's a little bit less convincing because I know it's, he doesn't really have a chicken specifically, but he's a chef, Captain Cookie. Dude, he's a pirate for sure. Come on now. And he's a chef. He's got some chicken drumsticks somewhere within his presence or or in his, uh, his kitchen for sure. And the most telling one is Smogger, which is a goblin in Booty Bay. Now, I know. Tinfoil hats all around. This could mean nothing. This could mean everything. Who the hell knows? If anybody has any idea or any way that they can connect these dots for me just to soothe my own mind or maybe disconnect all of this from the post entirely. And you know what? As I said at the beginning of this video, there's a lot of pirate organizations within the game. There could be way more than this, but these are just some of the ones that stood out to me. Man, come on now. What does it mean? What does it mean? <laughs> I don't know. If you have any other details or information or you know threads that could possibly link any of this together to give us any more insight on what 10.2.6 could be, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear it. And uh, yeah, speculate with me. Talk to me, man. I want to hear everything that you guys have, everything you guys don't have. What do you want it to be? What do you think it is? Let's talk. If you like this video, of course, give me a giant thumbs up. That would be very awesome. And of course, subscribe if you are not subscribed already. Let me know if you want me to do a pirate organization thread or videos or a series or whatever down in the comments below as well. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.